welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can set your altar. And because I'm a closet witch, I'm going to show you the closet witch way how to do that. Before we begin, there are different types of altars. So there are shrines for people and pets slash animals you had or felt connected to. For example, we use that type of altar um, around Samhain to honor the dead, to honor the people who passed away and uh, to remember them. And that is what a shrine is for, to remember people even if they are still alive. You can do a shrine for them, to remember them, to honor them for what they do, what they did and all that kind of thing. And that works for people and for animals. Then there are altars for deities or spirits. Those altars mostly have things associated to those deities and spirits. Um, when you do deities and spirit altars, make sure that if you work with more than one deity or spirit, that when you combine the altars or put it next to each other that those spirits or deities um, are good with each other because it's not that good if you put two enemies or uh, conquering spirits next to each other that will create a mess so make sure to make sure that they get along well with each other when you set their altar, especially if it's close to each other. The same goes when you work with them in rituals and so never summon deities and spirits who can't work with each other. That's a bad thing. <laughs> Just saying. That can end well, uh, not very well, like really bad. Okay. Another altar type version you can do is seasonally that you decorate your altar matching to the season and of course uh, you can also just create an altar for the different sabbats when you're Wiccan or just pagan and like to celebrate them then you can set altars uh, specifically for those celebrations like for Samhain or Ostara or uh, Ostara, sorry, <laughs> learning Spanish, so my rrr is like <laughs> everywhere. Um, or Lamas or Lugnosat, two names for one celebration. So a lot of options there. And of course you can also set altars for the elements, you can set altars for health, for specific riddles like for money or success and so on. There are endless possibilities. So research a little bit, look around, look for some inspiration and try out what you want to do. And now after we covered a couple of types of altars, let's start with creating one. Okay, what you're going to do first is to decide what type of altar you want and the second thing is to figure out where to put your altar and of course what objects do you have what things can you use for this altar to represent the things you want after you made up your mind and figure out where to put it and what you can use we can start set up the altar. I personally will do a new season altar, so um, welcoming the new cycle, the new beginning, and going to set up the altar for this, but not really matching to the winter season, more to the spring refreshing season. Okay, I'll show you how I do it. Okay. So now that we have made up our mind and gathered the items we want to use, we're going to the place and going to start to set up. I start with a blanket 
as the basics, the ground, if you want to. You can use whatever material you like, you can use paper, you can use fabric, whatever you have. Next, I put on my altar everything I have chosen to use. After I have put everything on here, I'm starting to move the things around and see how it looks best. Make sure if you use plant or anything that can burn that you set the candles a way that you can assure that they don't burn anything. So this is basically it. Now I'm done and you can tell it doesn't right away look like an altar, more like a decorative space. Of course if your parents are like suspicious you can take anything like this out of it and just put the things a little bit different. For example like this. Or anything else and then you can't really tell that it's not just a window decoration what you will notice I used in this seasonal kind of seasonal altar different elements and also normal decoration parts so, yes, we have earth, water combined in a plant because plants need both and air is kind of also an element for plants because they produce it, they clean it. So if you use plants you already got like three covered if you do a really small one. I have a lot of wooden elements, how you can see there and here so I got earth covered also with the crystals and the color I've got earth color covered blah, blah, blah. can't talk anymore I got air covered with the owls uh, we have fire in the candles and here I also used a green candle so we have earth combined with it as well I used some keys uh, together with the marbles, it kind of represents symbols for my deity. And water is also here a little bit represented in this object. I don't know, how do you call it? Base? Base? You can put water in here and plants in here and stuff, so that kind of thing, you know. And this was originally also meant for plants and to contain water, so I also have some water here as well. So you see, I used the elements, I used colors, I used decoration objects, and with that I easily created a really simple altar. So that is pretty much it. Pretty simple, isn't it? And it is also really easy for closet witches. You just basically have to use object, objects you can use for normal decoration purposes. That way nobody will notice. And it is also another good tip, easier especially if your surrounding is really suspicious, to do altars for seasons 
in combination with elements so much easier <laughs> because in that case if people ask why are you decorating your window silk so weirdly and you're like oh that's for the season see blue and stuff and I don't know snowflakes or pumpkins for October and stuff like that nobody will notice because everyone does that so <laughs> you're good you're fine you got this have fun decorating feel inspired to try out and I hope it helped you. Don't forget to like, to subscribe and join the coven if you didn't do it yet. And I hope I see you on my next video. Videos are uploaded every second Wednesday and make sure not to miss it. How did you like this video? Would you like more closet magic tips? Then write that down in the description. Oh, description. In the comment section. The description is my part. <laughs> where I feed you with some information. Yeah. Goodbye, stay magical my little witches and stay safe. Till the next video. Bye!